right, everybody, welcome back. So we're gonna go ahead and um, grab our batons now, and we're gonna start the baton bliss part of this class. So you're gonna need a red and a blue, which is a medium and a light on my reformer, and your baton. So let's go ahead and get started. So I'm gonna start with um, almost like the classical rowing series, but it's not. <laughs> so you're gonna start with your feet extended through the shoulder S, and um, you want, I'm gonna fix my microphone really quick. The wire is hanging out. So you're gonna want um, your butt not quite the, all the way back to the edge. I have about one hand's width from my butt and the back of the reformer. So my legs are long, so don't judge by how long my legs are, okay? You wanna be seated back here like this. Now, we are going to thread your baton through the short loops like this. Good, and then once you get those loops on your baton, you kind of have to eyeball it to make sure they're even. You don't want, one, one, you don't want the right strap farther on the right side. You want everything nice and even. Now, my hands are gonna grab on the outsides of the straps right here like this. Connect under those shoulders. Now, we're gonna roll back into a little bit of a C curve right here, creating that coccyx curl or that Pilates scoop right there. Maintain that scoop as you practice pulling. I want my elbows, wrists, and shoulders all on the same plane. Now, it's not just about the arms. As you exhale, pull, I want you to even exaggerate that scoop even more. Exhale. Draw the abs in and up as you pull. We've got eight. So it's like you're zipping up those skinny jeans again. As you pull for seven, my shoulders are out of my ears. I've got six. Really drawing that belly in like you're getting punched in the stomach for five. Not bending at those wrists for four. Exhale, deflate the abdominals as you pull for three. Two, you should literally see your stomach draw in as you pull. One. Now, we're gonna look over the right shoulder. I'm gonna lift the left elbow up to the ceiling as I bend and pull. Imagine you're cinching your ribs to your hips right there on that right side. So you're feeling the right obliques as well as that left arm. Give me six more. For six, stay in that rotation for five. Contract those obliques as you pull for four. Neck is still long. I've got three, two, last one right here, one. Let's take it to the other side. Now, I want you to stay in that scoop, find that rotation, cinch the left waist as you pull. Exhale, pull. Cinch the bottom rib to your hip bone as you pull for six, five, Maintaining that scoop as you're rotated for four, three, I've got two, last one right here, one. Good, now we're gonna come up into a nice tall extended spine. Just like the classical rowing, we're gonna go from flexion to extension here. All right, so now, bicep curl, standing nice or sitting nice and tall, you're gonna bend, bringing the um, baton to your forehead, for eight, sitting as tall as you can for seven. Elbows and shoulders are on the same plane here. For six, lifting from that pelvic floor. I've got five and four, three, two, last one right here, one. All right, now I'm gonna reach back and take my light spring off. It's on my left side. So I'm gonna reach back with my left hand, taking that light spring off. Now I'm gonna come back to a bent elbow position. So my elbows and shoulders are on the same plane, maintaining that long, tall, extended spine. I'm gonna rotate from the shoulders to bring the baton to my forehead for six. Exhale as you pull, still lifting from that pelvic floor. I've got four, definitely feeling the tops of the arms here for three and two. Last one right here and one. Now, let's bring the heels of your hands under the baton like this. Slightly hinge back, maintaining that long, tall spine. Reach it up for six, bringing the baton back to the chest. Reach it up for five. So I'm slightly angling back. I've got four, whew, three, that is a lot of work, and two, last one right here, 
and one. Now, if you are familiar with the classical rowing series, sometimes it's really nice to ditch the baton and go ahead and do a few of rowing back one and rowing back two just to open up those shoulders. Anyways, otherwise, we're gonna ditch this left strap. We're gonna keep the right strap on the baton and I'm gonna step off of the reformer to the right here. You can either use the short or the long loop. I've chosen to use the shorter loop here. So I'm making sure that the strap is in the center of my baton, right here like this. I'm arm's distance from the baton. As I stand here, my left leg is touching the reformer. I'm gonna step away from the reformer just a few inches like that, okay? So now we're gonna take a lunge. I'm gonna lunge back with the foot that's closest to the reformer. So I'm gonna step back with my left foot to a deep lunge. I'm gonna pull, extend the arms long, then come up into that flamingo. I'm gonna step back, stay connected under those shoulders as you pull, return the arms, and then back up. We've got six more. Exhale, pull for six. Standing up nice and tall. Step back, I've got five. I want you to find the connection under the shoulder girdle as you pull for four and up. I've got three. Lifting up and two and up. We're going to go back one more time. We're going to hold it here. Give me eight pulls for eight. Neck is long. Shoulders are down. Lifting from that pelvic floor for six and five. Whew. Four, three, two. Last one right here. One. All right. Coming back up. Now I'm going to turn away from the camera. I'm going to turn towards my reformer here. I'm gonna rotate my feet out, squeeze those glutes to do so, to into an external rotation. Now my hands, one hand is underneath the strap, the other hand is on top of the strap, like this. Find a nice, deep plie here, or squat. Connect under the shoulders, inhale, prepare. Exhale, we're gonna to rotate towards the foot bar for eight. If it's too heavy, go to the longer strap. Exhale, rotate for seven. You're going to really feel those lats. Pull with the arm that's closest to the foot bar. Whew, go a little bit lower for five. Exhale, pull for four. I'm not letting the carriage hit. I've got three. Let's go an inch lower. Two. Last one right here. One. Good. Come out of that plie. Replace that strap. Now, I'm gonna take my baton. On my reformer, this works great. It may not on every reformer. I can bring it, place it behind the shoulder rest and in between the pegs right there, and it works great. And so, still out of breath. <laughs> All right, so we're going to do a reverse flying lunge. So I'm going to take the foot that's closest to the reformer, bring it onto the platform right there like that, and then I'm gonna bring my hands in front of the shoulder rest, not up to the shoulder rest, just in front of them right there like that. And I'm gonna step out to a nice lunge, feeling a nice stretch in the left hip flexor. And then I'm gonna stand into my hands as the carriage closes to lift for eight. You wanna hollow out that tummy as you lift right there for seven. Hollow out that tummy like you're getting punched in the stomach for six. I want you to find those deep transverse abdominal muscles to lift for five. You know where this is going, right? For four. Exhale, lift right here. For three. Two. Last one. Right here. Now we're going to add an arabesque kick. Are you ready? Here's the best part of the entire class. Kick it up. Woo, for eight. You're gonna feel that right glute shape right there for seven, for six. It feels like you're flying a little bit. For five, you've got it. We've got four. The left leg, the leg that's on the platform is definitely getting some work. Two more, you guys. Two, last one, we're not coming down to the floor. Bring that foot onto the platform next to the other. Walk yourself over a bit so that you're square. Shoulders are over your hands right here. I'm gonna slide it out, slide it right back under, slide it out, right back under. Now my abdominals are drawn in to support my low back. Good, hold a steady plank. Turn your hips and toes to the side. You got it, shift your weight into that back hand. Same thing, slide it out, slide it right back under. 
and out. Exhale, bring it right back under. Exhale, bring it under. One more. We're gonna go into some pikes. Inhale, prepare. Press into that back hand as you lift the hips up. Inhale, open it out. Pressing into that back hand, lift it up. I want you to keep the heels down on that platform. You're gonna feel that waist just a little bit more. Woo! Just one more here, guys. All right, square yourself off. Turn to the other side. Shift your weight into your back hand. Slide it out, slide it under. Woo! Four more, for four. You're gonna feel the back arm shake as well as those back obliques. Two more. Last one. All right, inhale, prepare, pike it up. I'm pressing in to the back hand so I feel that waist just a little bit more. We only have three more right here. For three, in this rotation, I want you to tighten those abdominals. Two, last one right here, one. All right, we're gonna turn, we're gonna rotate to the floor here like this. Find your stance, all right. Find a nice deep lunge. All right, are you ready? Here we go. Eight pikes. Scoop the abdominals, drag that carriage under for eight. Drop the head as you lift for seven. Here's six. Really drawing the belly in like you're getting punched in the stomach for five. Those arms, they should be shaking here. Four. The back leg is working too. Three. Two. Last one right here. Here we go. Woo. One, are you ready? We're going to kick it up and down. Woo. And up and down. Five more here for five, four. Toning the right leg, the leg that's standing. You wanna tone that leg. Two, last one right here, one. Catch your breath. All right, all right, so from here, we have to finish the arm work, right? So we are going to grab our baton again, and we're gonna bring it here like this. We're still on that same spring, which is really nice. So I'm gonna turn towards the back of my reformer. Catch your breath if you're a little out of breath like me. Let's take a couple more breaths. Last one. Taking these breaths also helps me find a little bit more clarity too. It kind of um, unfogs my brain a little bit. So getting back to work here. The strap, the short loop is in the center of my baton. My hands are here like this. So right now, um, I'm arms distance from the baton and my body is touching the reformer. I'm gonna step away from the reformer just a little bit like that. Now I'm gonna step back with the leg that's closest to the reformer. So that's my right leg. I'm gonna step back, pull, extend the arms, come back up. And again, step back, pull, extend the arms, come back up. Now I've got six more. You wanna stay as low as you can as you pull. Lift from the pelvic floor, stay connected on the shoulders as you lift. For five, and lift. I've got four and lift. You want to stay really strong right here. For three, lift. I've got two, lift. Last one, hold it here. Pull for eight. Let's go lower. I've got seven, Woo. six, wrists, elbow, and shoulders are all on the same plane. For four, three, two, last one right here, one. Coming up, catch your breath. All right, so I have one hand underneath, one hand on top. The strap is long, okay? So I want you to switch on those glutes to rotate from your hips to turn those toes out. So now the glutes are firing. Come down into a nice grand plie right here like this. We're gonna pull with this arm a little bit more. Inhale, prepare. Exhale, rotate for eight. Try not to let the reformer hit. Exhale, rotate for seven. For six, stay low in that knee bend. I've got five. Imagine you're wringing those abdominals out like a sponge as you rotate. Three, we're almost there. Two, last one right here. 
one, and back up. Okay, replace that strap, replace your baton. I'm gonna adjust the angle of the, ref of the camera really quick. So now I need to come down to one blue spring. So quickly, let's switch to that blue spring. We're gonna add the blue, we're gonna take the red off, and we're gonna do a standing series here with our baton. So carefully, we're gonna come up this way like this. Oh, so carefully. And um, we're, ideally, we're eventually going to get to this standing position right here. So know you're coming up there. Now we're gonna come down to our knee. All right, now we want to thread the baton through the short loops. So we only came to standing first just so that you know where we're going with it. Um, but so the farther away my, my back knee is from my front foot, the more stable I'm gonna be, all right? So we're gonna bring our arms right here like this, connect under those shoulders. We're gonna reach it up nice and tall for six. We're only doing six because we're gonna do it twice. Exhale, lifting from that pelvic floor while start trying to stay connected under those shoulders. I've got four more. For four, and three, two, last one right here, and one. Good. Now, from here, find your balance. You're carefully going to come up like this. Again, remember, the farther apart your back foot is from your front foot, the more stable you're gonna feel. Now soften those knees. I don't want those knees locked. All right, we're gonna go to that overhead press. We did this earlier while seated. Same thing, inhale, prepare. Exhale, let's reach it up for six. Keep the elbows narrow as they come down. They're in front of your body for five. Hips are square. I've got four. Only do this if you feel comfortable. If you wanna go back to your knees, go back to your knees. Three and Two, last one, right here, one. All right, now, from here, we're going to switch feet very carefully. So I come to the center, then I take my left foot, bring it to the front, and then wiggle your right foot back. Careful, so you know where it is. All right, back to here. Heels of your hands are facing up, elbows are nice and narrow, hips are square. Take it up. For six, keep the elbows in front of the body as they come down. I've got five and four, whew, three, two, last one right here, one. All right, carefully come down to the kneeling position. Wiggle back if you can. All right, hips are still square, shoulders are square, arms are long. Take it up here for six. You're definitely feeling those arms, huh? I've got five. Woo! And four. Three. Two. Last one right here. And one. All right, catch your breath. I'm gonna adjust, so catch your breath, grab some water or a towel. I'm gonna adjust the angle of the camera. All right, now let's go ahead, go back to that medium spring. For me, it's a red. I was on a blue, so I'm gonna go to the red. And we're gonna come here. I call this series Moana because it, for some reason, reminds me of that movie. <laughs> All right, so the, um, how you grab your baton here and how your hand is in the, hand, the strap is, is really makes a huge difference. So we are going to grab the strap like this. I'm grabbing the longer loop. Remember, I keep my ropes longer than a lot of studios. So when I use one medium spring, if you keep your rope shorter, you might want a light spring instead. So I hold my strap like this, and I'm gonna take my thumb and push it down, kind of like you're doing a thumbs down like that. Now flip the thumb up. There you go. You're gonna grab the base of the baton right here like this. Now the other hand is going to press down on the cap of the baton right there like that. So just practice this movement. You're gonna push the arm front and then back down. So we're pushing the bottom of the baton towards the foot bar, right? Now we're gonna come out of that knee bend, come up. We're getting our heart rate up again and then back 
down like that. Now the top of the baton is staying right next to my necklace right here. So this part of the baton does not move very much. You got it? All right, here we go. I gotta fix my toes. Exhale, lift it up for six, staying nice and low. The bottom arm is the one that's working for five. Remember, keep the top of the baton right next to your chest. I've got four, it's a lot of work, it's heavy. For three, whoo, two, last one right here, and one. All right, we're gonna do both arms now. So now we're going to thread the baton through the long or the short loops, it's up to you, like this. All right, so now I'm gonna have my hands on the outsides of the straps. If you want it heavier, you just go to the shorter loops. And we, from here, are just gonna lift up and then right back down. Keep the elbows narrow as you come down. Exhale, lift up, we've got eight. Developing a little bit of heat in those thighs as we come up and down for seven. We want you to press those hips forward for six and five. You've got it. We've got four, three, two, last one right here, one. Now take the hands, quickly bring them to the center like that. So now they're inside of the straps. Reach it up a little bit higher. Good, stay connected under those shoulders. Ribs are connected, that's really important. Squeeze those glutes to keep that pelvis steady. Bend at your elbows, and I want you to keep your elbows close to the head, extended up for eight. We're getting a nice stretch under those arms. Woo, for seven. Exhale, lift it up for six. You've got this. And five, woo, for four, three, Two, last one right here, one. Bring it back down. All right, we're gonna ditch the left strap. It comes off. And now remember, let's get set up with this strap. So you want your thumb facing down and then flip it up so the strap is underneath your arm. I'm gonna hold the base of the baton. The other, arm is gonna, the other hand is gonna press down on the ca top cap of the baton. So we're just pressing with the right arm, we're pressing the bottom of the baton towards the foot bar. Now we're gonna stand up into our knees, or up onto our knees, here we go, for six. Right arm is getting a lot of work here, for five. Keep the top of the baton near your chest, for four, three, I've got two, last one right here, and one, nice job. All right, we're gonna put that baton back where I had it earlier. And I'm gonna ditch that strap. We're gonna change to a heavy spring. So for me, that is one green. I'm gonna add that green. I'm gonna take my red off. This is gonna take us almost to the end, okay? So from here, we're gonna do that fun little lunge thing that I've stolen from Corinne. And we're gonna start with your, um, your right foot on the floor. Now take the outside foot, Bring it in front of the shoulder rest right there like that. Let's find a nice deep lunge. You might want to scoop back with the floor foot. Find a nice deep lunge right here like this. Now I'm going to stand into the, my bottom hand and my reformer foot. Lift up, tap the foot, go back down. We've got seven more. I want you to draw that belly in as you lift for six. Exhale, lift it up for five. You want to lift your tailbone up to the ceiling, not drop the butt down. For four, really draw that belly in. I've got three, whoo, and two. Last one right here, one. Bring both feet onto your reformer. Your right foot is behind, your left foot is in front. Find a tandem pike, hold it right there. Inhale, prepare. Press into that back hand as you pike the hips up. Inhale, open the carriage, dropping the hips. Press heavy into the back hand. Cinch that waist as you draw the carriage under. Notice my feet are not all the way to the shoulder rest. Exhale, lift. It's like I'm cinching the bottom rib to my hip bone. Good, now as we lift this time, we're going to bend the back knee to a flamingo for five. Replace it as you open. Exhale, bend the knee, flamingo for four. Really feeling that waist now, Whew. for three. Exhale, give me two. Last one right here, you guys. 
one. Whoo, square off those feet. Bring those feet together if you can. I want you to squeeze the inseam of your leggings together. Maintain this plank position. I'm gonna inhale open. Now I'm gonna lead with the crown of my head, contract the core, maintain that plank as I draw the shoulders to the foot bar. Inhale, open. Exhale, draw it right back in. We're gonna add to it now. As I close the carriage, I'm going to bring my knee towards my nose on the right foot. Replace the foot, opposite foot now. Left knee, <sighs> inhale, open. Exhale, round the back slightly to draw the nose to your knee. Exhale, bring it in. Let's do one more each side. The arms should be shaking. Woo. Last one here. All right, now let's turn our toes towards the back door. Find that plank position. Shift your weight back to the left hand. Inhale, open. Inhale, drop the hip to open. Press into the heels of your hands. Cinch that waist, drag those heels under. Now it's really important that you keep those heels down. You wanna press the heels into the reformer as you close that carriage. You're gonna target those obliques just a little bit more because they have to work more to close the carriage. When you lift the heels, you take some of the work out of that waist. One more. Now, if you wanna add to it here, guys, this is where we add the flamingo, right here. As we pike, we lift the knee up. Replace the foot as you open the carriage. As you pike, three more here. It's not a huge range of movement. Two more. Last one. You've got it. All right, catch your breath. We're going down. We're finishing with this one here. All right, so like I said, catch your breath. Find that nice deep lunge. Good, remember you're gonna stand into your reformer foot and the foot bar, okay? Here we go, inhale, prepare. Exhale, lift up. Sometimes it takes me a few to find my rhythm. You wanna lift the butt up to the ceiling, don't let it drop. Five more right here, five. Can you touch the ankle? We've got four inner thighs and obliques here for three and a whole lot of coordination. Two, last one right here, guys. Woo, one. <sighs> All right, I am a sweaty mess. Let's, let's collect ourselves, right? So I'm gonna give you a 30 second break. Grab some water and a sweat towel. Meet me right back here, and we are gonna go down to our warm, our cool down flow. So it's our finale flow coming up.